The following is an excerpt from the 2023-2024 budget presentation by Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness. The National Road Operating and Constructing Company Limited, NROC, is currently executing two major projects. The first is the South Coast Highway Improvement Project, Part A, from Maypen to Williamsfield, constructing approximately 23 kilometers of a four-lane highway and upgrading of approximately five kilometer of the existing Melrose Hill bypass to a four-lane rural arterially divided highway. This is now 90% complete and will be open in August 2023. After the construction is finalized, the highway will be the property of the government of Jamaica. It, it will be a tolled highway and therefore the government will negotiate a concession for its operation. But the government owns that highway. The second major project, Madam Speaker, is the much anticipated Montego Bay Perimeter Road where we broke ground on the 16th of July, 2022. This US $274 million project includes the Perimeter Road, Long Hill Bypass, upgrades of West Green Avenue and Barnett Street, and a drainage study of this city of Montego Bay. The design bill contract speaks to a one-year design period with a scheduled start of July, 2023. Many of the activities done so far include pre-construction work, which is you know, surveying, soil testing, designs, and the provisions uh, to create a batching plant and the acquisition of lands. My administration plans to extend the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project further westward from Williamsfield in Manchester, where, where the current project ends, to Hodges in St. Elizabeth. The scope of the project includes improvement of the existing road infrastructure, as well as bypasses for Mandeville, a bypass for Spur Tree, a connection close to Junction Southfield heading into Black River. Two toll roads exist in Jamaica, the North-South Highway and the East-West Highway, which includes a Portmore access via the causeway. Presently, users on either toll road are forced to exit onto the Mandela Highway if they intend to access the other toll road. This is inefficient, and we will resolve this with the design and construction of a full grade separated interchange between the North-South Highway and the East-West Highway in the Caymanas vicinity. And Madam Speaker, pre-construction work will begin in the next financial year. This is just one step in the long-term plan to build out a fully connected road network across Jamaica that allows users to move seamlessly across the island. The government has allocated this year $6.9 billion to address road and bridge repairs and maintenance and other costs dealing with civil infrastructure. This is clearly not enough to deal with all the roads in Jamaica which are in need of attention. We have made excellent progress on dealing with our highways and our main thoroughfares. However, it is now time to address our secondary roads and local roads. The Minister of Finance announced the shared prosperity through accelerated improvement to our road network, the SPARK program for roads, where we will allocate 40 billion Jamaican dollars to repairing approximately 2,000 secondary and local roads over the next three years.